Got a little four channel and a little monoblock prime series. But as you've seen in my videos, they do their power. This video is all about cooling. And today we're gonna build a little amp rack with cooling fans built in. And we're gonna control it with that SMD TM1 fan controller temperature monitor. Check this out. See, here's the thing. A lot of people hook up amplifiers and they put them wherever they can, in the trunk, under seats, just anywhere in the car really, but they don't really take into consideration that that amp needs to breathe. And well, sometimes you can give them a little bit of help. But let's say you find a way to get some fans near the amplifiers so you can cool them off. Do you want those things to be full blast all the time? Or do you want them to just come on when the amps start getting warm? Like in the morning, you start up your car, you don't need to hear it sounding like a typhoon in the back. So what we got here is a little temperature sensor. You'll see exactly how this works a little bit later. Let's go ahead and build this little amp rack first and get the fans in. You made a long time. What was it for? That's your hard drive. How much did you get? The entire amp rack was made out of scraps. Even the plexiglass is scrapped, so it might have a couple little blemishes in it. But I made up for it with a Fosgate 8 sticker. So let's slap these amps inside of here and hook everything up. All right, so this little amp rack is pretty much done. I'm gonna take this little temperature probe right here, check it out, and run it up inside of here. You can pretty much put it wherever you want in your own amp rack. So we got the probe in there. We got the unit right here. Go ahead and turn that on, bud. So the temperature sensor is in there. It's just kind of laying in there. You can pretty much put it wherever you want. As long as it's seeing good air temperature. Got the heat gun ready to go. Made a little blow hole on the top so I could put some heat in there. And let's see exactly what happens. First thing we're going to want to do is determine when those fans are going to kick on. So you crack open the back and turn this screw. And once you turn it, it starts blinking. Then you just go ahead and back it off a little bit, keep turning it, and say I want the fans to kick on at 40 degrees Celsius. Just leave it there, it'll blink until it's done. All right. So it's 30 in the chamber right now, and 40 is when the fan is going to kick on. Now keep in mind, when it hits the 40 degree mark, where we set it, the fans are going to come on 30%. If it goes up one more notch to 45, it's going to be another 30%. And if it makes it all the way to 50, the fans will be on full speed. 
This way you don't got to listen to a bunch of fans when you first turn your system on in the morning or until they get warm. So here we go, watch this. That chamber is nice and warm. If you know this Milwaukee heat gun, you know it's hot as hell on there right now. But the fans are actually doing a good job keeping it cool. It's actually counteracting this heat gun pretty well. There you go, they're back off again. So this chamber works so good, I'm having a hard time doing this demo. I wanted to get the chamber up past 55, 60, 65, and then let the fans cool it down. But those four fans pushing and pulling are keeping this heat gun at bay in this chamber, which is pretty good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to unhook the fan wire and let this chamber get nice and warm, and then I'm going to hook it back up and watch how quickly this thing will cool it down. So let's do that. Me. All right, the fans are now unhooked and we're just going to go thermostat only. Let's see how hot we can make this chamber. There we go. Look at that. Getting mighty warm in there. Now this would be what would happen if you had no fans and you had these amps in an amp rack with no type of cooling system at all. I'm going to get that up to about 75C. Look at that. Oh, it's getting a little warm. It's even changing colors on us. Now that thing will go all the way to red if you bring it all the way to the brink. But we're going to go ahead and now this is what's happening right now. If these fans were hooked up, this is what's happening. Back down to 60%, 30%, barely turning, and as soon as that chamber is done cooling off, the fans should shut themselves off. All right, so the SMD TM1 does its job as always. You see it's coming Fahrenheit and Celsius. If you want to cool it on your amp rack, try out one of these. You might ask yourself, why, why go through all the trouble to make that chamber and put all those fans in when the amps can just sit there and cool themselves off? Well, you don't always have to do that, but it just depends on how far you want to take it. Because if you have amps underneath the seat and they're not getting very much airflow, you could do something like that. For instance, check this out. Underneath the seat right here, you can just plop it right into place. And since the back of the seat comes pretty close to the amps, this will force air through whenever they get a little bit warm. But with the TM1, you don't have to have the fans spinning at all times, only when that chamber starts to warm up a little bit. So maybe we'll throw this in here and hook it up and see how it sounds.